Right then guys, welcome back to the next video. This time, it is the Phantom Spirit 120 Evo. Yes, I got one. We've got some noise testing, we've got thermals, as well as a quick look at the cooler. So make sure you continue watching. Okay then, so this is the Phantom Spirit 120 Evo. You guys have bugged me for ages to get this on the channel. Well, finally, finally that Thermalright actually did, so they've sent me this and something else. So let's have a look at the specifications of this so you guys can know. So there's the height, the weight, so it's got six heat pipes, but seven units. That's the max of the fans. That is 27 dB, so that should actually be very quiet. And they are all the sockets it supports, which I'm actually glad for 2011 and 2066. So let's get this unboxed and have a look. Okay, so first we'll have a look at the fans. Now, these are different to what you guys are actually used to. Oof, wow, these got, wow, they got uh, a very, uh, like, weight to them. So, all the differences with these now is the same fans they've had for a while, but they've just got RGB on the back and the front. So, I've actually looked at this type of fan before from them. These are very good quality bearings and they're very, very good. So there's that one. And then of course, there's the other one. So there's two but there. And of course, this comes with like the installation guide, which is by here, which you guys will probably know how to install them. And then it comes with all the stuff that comes with them. So... Of course, you've got the Intel backplate, and then of course, you've got thermal paste that comes with all the brackets for AM4, AM5, which AM4 and AM5 are backwards compatible. So, let's have a look at the cooler itself. Stop there. So, something they have changed with this is the top part of it, really. And this is actually, ooh, wow. Okay, okay, oh, ooh. Wow, the size of that base plate, that's massive, that's huge. That's about the same size as the LGA 1700 socket. So, I mean, the only really thing that's really changed with them is they've got these things on top. I would say the fins look a lot better. Then, of course, you've got the same mount then, so let's get this installed in the computer and let's see how it sounds and how it performs okay this is the phantom spirit 120 evo at 50 percent fan speed very quiet at 50 percent you can barely hear it now 100 percent fan speed And that's pretty much as loud as it goes. Compared to the original Phantom Spirit, this isn't as loud. Okay then, so when it comes to the thermal benchmarks, I did do it with a 5900X with PBO, PBO enabled. And it's my standard run of tests. Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW and 3D Mark CPU test. Now each run was run for 10 minutes. Of course, when it comes to 3D Mark, that was run multiple times to get the number I've got. So far, the 5900X with PBO enabled, it had a wattage of 190 watts during the run. So for Cinebench R23, the idles are 32 Celsius with a max of 84. Blender Classroom, the idles are 32 Celsius with a max of 83. Blender BMW, the idles are 32 with a max of 81. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 32 Celsius with a max of 73 Celsius. Right then, guys, so look, you saw the initial first look at the beginning, you saw the overall thermals as well as you heard how loud the fans are. Now, what I will say about this, these this is the more up-to-date version of the E of the uh, Phantom Spirit. It definitely 
is different to the original Phantom Spirit. This, of course, has newer uh, Gen 4 heat pipes. It is fully darkened, dark coating on the fin stack. And, of course, it's a premium feel to it and overall look. Now, yes, the fans they use got very good bearings. And, of course, with term right, you do get a warranty. Of course, you get a warranty while you buy it as well. But when it comes to the overall... Uh, compatibility for sockets it does go back as far as 2066 which i honestly think more brands should really support the older sockets because not everyone is going to be on the current gen cpu so if you at least if you are on the older type platforms the 1000 series as well as the 2011s or even am4 it does support it it is compatible and what I will say is the overall packaging, it definitely looks nicer, if you would agree. It does look nicer, the packaging, the overall. The thermals, they were fine. The CPU, it was 190 watts during testing. It handled that, no problems. Didn't go above 85 Celsius, which considering that it was pushing a lot of wattage, that's not actually bad. Of course, when it comes to the noise, it's not as, it's not as loud as the original Phantom Spirit. This is actually a bit, a tad quieter. It's not that much quieter but it is quieter you can tell that and overall it does have much better fans these are the stat press fans these fans have very good bearings and they're very good quality fans now yet yeah, they don't have a lot of rgb which i'm a little bit upset about because i do love my rgb but what i will say is they're bringing out a lot of different products lately like the mirror fans which i've already up add up on the channel and the other rgb fans so they are updating their current line of coolers and to be honest i'm all for it because they certainly look much better now i have got another cooler here but you'll have to wait and see that so for this cooler it is more it's more expensive than the original phantom spirit this is about 10 to 15 pound more i have seen it on amazon through different distributors or whoever's selling it between the 45 pound and 50 pound mark so it's not cheap but because they put in the premium marker on this new line of coolers they have jumped up the price which to be honest the phantom spirit as well as the peel assassin are two of the best coolers you can buy on the market for the price and i'm sorry but the justification for other brands that basically do the same thing just cools the cpu and you get the performance out of the peel assassin as well as the phantom spirit the original the fantastic performance you get out of that at a very good price i'm sorry but they go in for the bigger brands now they do have new aios which i will be having in as well so make sure you subscribe for that this gets my recommendation and to be honest, I wish it had more RGB. That's the only thing I'd really say I don't like about it. I wish it was more RGB. But that's just me personally. If you don't like RGB, then that's fine. But still. So, yeah. Look, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Do not forget to check out welshytech.com. Yes, I've got a website. All my videos, the latest ones, will be listed every single week on the Thursday and Saturday on the website. So, this is Richard for Welsh Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you. Good bye.